Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Lever Guns 5110. Today we're going to shoot this black powder revolver, this Colt Walker cap and ball revolver. And today we're going to shoot it with a 220 grain uh, bullet. It's a Lee bullet and we're going to see how many milk jugs it will penetrate. And let's show you our setup. Now this gun originally started out in 1847. Uh, Samuel Colt and Captain Samuel Walker went together on a, uh, well they discussed, Samuel Walker wanted a gun that would shoot a horse out from under the rider and Colt Walker was developed. Alright, let's get ready and shoot it. Okay, here's our milk jug set up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jugs and We'll go ahead and comment down below how many you think it'll penetrate. 220 grain Lee bullet out of the Colt Walker at about 1,200 feet a second. Well, let's go see what we did. Maybe a little bit higher than I wanted to hit it. Yep. Two, one, two, three. Bared off out into space. So we got to one, two, three, four, five. And then it went off out into space. Might have cut it in these pants, though. So. Well, uh, see if we can find some more jugs and do it again. Okay, we're going to try this again. Colt Walker. Shoot it into these milk jugs. Hopefully this time we'll get the bullet. Ah, some bullets, I guess, always cause just going to bear off the side. I mean, it went in pretty straight there, but it's curving off, hit right here, come out there and... It took the pants off the top, I wonder if it caught the bullet this time. Doesn't feel like it. These pants were on top of those pants. Kind of ragged, ain't they? All right, we never found that second bullet. So now we're going to shoot a round ball just to see if round balls go straight through the water, since we know the bullets don't. So let's try this. Round ball. Well, this gun's been loaded for a couple of weeks. So. <laughs> Went off to the side, but it went all the way through. It hit this jug here, but it didn't penetrate it. So that means it went who knows where. We'll look around and see if we can't find it though. This time we had shot through five jugs and the bullet kept on going. This time we had six jugs, if I remember right. Let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we had six jugs. And uh, the bullets actually stopped in this one. It did knock a hole in the back, but it didn't come out. 
Let's take that bullet out of there and see what it looks like. There she is. There's that round ball. We'll compare the bullet and the round ball and see how good they look. Okay, now we found that last bullet. It was laying on the ground right here by the table. So apparently those pants stopped it and it just dropped to the ground. So it must not have much power. So anyhow, here's the... And they didn't mushroom out that much. But it, apparently about five jugs is all either one of them will do. I think the other one, the bullet might go through. It might go through six, but we couldn't keep them going straight enough to see if they would.